So, apologies in advance for being just a little bit late with this one. You guys have been requesting this video so much, it hurts. Anyways, welcome to Best Android Apps of October 2016. So let's get started. The first one is Snap Swipe Draw, and while it's far from the catchiest name, this thing is pure genius. It allows you to install as many widgets as you want, but instead of cluttering up your home screen, it creates a separate status bar. So once you install this app, every time you swipe down from the left, it brings down your normal status bar. But push that up and bring it down from the right, and you've got a separate one just for widgets. I think it's a super cool idea, and I genuinely found myself using it. Next up, we've got an app called Hermit, and this one application could potentially solve every problem you've ever had with storage on your phone. What it does is creates a light version of every one of your internet-based apps. Apps. apps like Facebook, Twitter, instead of accessing through the official applications, if you do it through this, it takes you through a custom web browser and it saves you so much space. And it's pretty much just as functional and nearly as quick. Next up is Taskbar, and it creates an app drawer which overlays across anything you want it to. And whilst that sounds subtle, it's extremely useful. Say for example I'm browsing the internet, I can then open up my app drawer as if I was on a Windows computer for example, and just flick straight to anything else I want to use. If at some point you don't want to see the app drawer, you can just press the little arrow in the bottom corner and it hides it. Pretty handy. Next up is an application that I just did not expect to exist. It's called Mr. Phone, and it is perfect for phone nerds like me. What it does is essentially it provides a GSM Arena style spec list for any smartphone out there. It's got whole sections for all the latest, all the most popular, and even news sites is all linked from here. So if you want to know about phones, this is literally the one and only source you'll need. And to be honest guys, using this is just impressive. It's got one of the most in-depth spec sheets for one of the largest range of phones, and it's presented in a really easy to understand manner. Moving on, we've got TechSpand. Super, super cool, and this is a great time saver. Essentially, TextBand allows you to assign different text inputs to different text outputs. So for example, I could make it so that every time I type in the letter 2 and hit enter, it'll produce my email address, which is just a huge time saver. Next up is Silhouette. Quite an unusual icon pack, um, one that I downloaded about a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just strangely addicted to it. It's got not only the darkness, but also the colour, which makes for an unusual combination. Combine that with the inbuilt wallpapers, which are a little bit eerie in themselves, and you've got a very unique look. Not necessarily the cleanest, but quite uniform nonetheless. Next up is Ike, and this has become pretty much my number one favourite organisation app. It combines a calendar with reminders, with a to-do list, and it's just amazing. Not only is everything super slick and colourful, but it splits the tasks you need to complete into things of high focus and things which you can perhaps do a bit later. The way the app uses colour is really very interesting, and it helps you separate the different tasks based on how important they are in your own head as well. Next up, we've got EV Launcher. Now this is not going to compete with the big guns in terms of customization. it's hardly compatible with every icon pack out there. But it's got its own appeal, because not only is it lightweight and very fast, but it revolves around its own search bar, which integrates things like contacts, things like settings, as well as the internet and your apps installed. It's a subtle touch, but makes a surprising difference to the fluidity of the Android experience. So next up is this beautiful widget right here. This is Aura, and it works for Zupa widget, and whilst the whole point of Zupa is easy customization, and these ones are sometimes a little bit tricky, they just look so nice. They work in just about every setting, whether it's a colourful setup, an industrial setup, a minimal setup, just doesn't seem to matter. Next up is the sketchy icon pack, and unlike the name might suggest, you're not at all getting ripped off for the money you spend. You're getting over 3,000 really high quality icons, as well as a couple of interestingly designed backdrops. The only downside I would say is that it just doesn't support every icon, and it doesn't reskin the unthemed ones, but it's nonetheless a really unique experience. So there we go guys, that was my video on the best Android apps of October. There's some real hidden gems in this one, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then like would go a really long way, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.